Hey guys, it's Clay, and today I have an immediate opening. I got the Terrapagos Ultra Premium Collection. It literally arrived 10 minutes ago. I got it, and I was like, this thing is sick. I gotta open it. The flash does not do it justice. If I take my Pikachu light, look at that color. This thing is beautiful. I, I was just talking to myself the other day about getting rid of, like, the past boxes from the other ultra premiums and I was like this one this one is amazing like it's I wasn't excited about this at all and now I'm just pumped so let me get this plastic wrap off before I show you what it has inside we get three different foil promos two of them are gold pretty sick eight energies but the energies are a special foil they're the the stellar crown foil we get a little this little display, coin, uh, dice, damage markers, deck box, play mat. 18 packs. Dude, that's crazy. 18 packs is in insane. Oh, don't worry. And we also get a code card. Wow. I, I kind of feel like TCG Live is going to die because of TCG Pocket. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, it's not magnetic like some of the other ones had been. Oh, that's sick. Let me pan you up. Oh, that's sick. That is awesome. I'm actually going to take this off of the rig. Hopefully that doesn't kill it all. And I'm just going to... Oh! Wow, that is just flat out awesome. Hook you back up. And here we... Oh, no. Don't worry, I'm getting a new rig for Christmas. Here we go. Look at these. So this was outside. Obviously, it got delivered, so it was a little cold. Look at these promos. Now, I'm sure they're going to be cheap promos because they're not the most popular Pokemon ever. But, like, dude, these are sick as heck. Oh, no. How am I going to get these out safely? Do I just... Dude, this is sketchy. Do I slide... Okay, okay. So you can slide them up gently. Okay, that seems to be like seems to be the play. Seems to be the play. Slide them up slow. Okay, okay. We're all good. This is actually pretty durable. It is cardboard. Um, it does come with a little kickstand, I believe. This folds out. Yeah. I personally wouldn't use this, but like a little kid collector who doesn't have you know Ultra Pro stuff might. These promos are gorgeous, especially this one. Oh man. Oh man, this is amazing. I love this, and each of them come with, oh no, not each of them, just this. That's a pretty good code card then. I love these. Now that game start stop is grading cards, maybe I'll grade these. All right, let's go back in. Oh, here's the actual display. This thing is hefty. Oh man, oh man, this is nice. Now this is something I might use. Wow, oh heck yeah. Hello, we uh. Sponsored by Pokemon? Oh, yeah, that's sick. That is... Oh, that's nice. All right, cardboard. This is... Guys, there's a lot of plastic in here. A lot of plastic in here, if you can't tell. All right, so we got this Terrapagos coin. These dice are not... Cubed. Look at that. Okay, so it'll roll like a cube because they, they do have the firm side, but they have weird edging. That's kind of cool. I'm sure, I am sure that people will not use the dice because TCG players are crazy about like the products they use and they, I don't know a single one that uses the Pokemon Center stuff. <gasps> this is a dice holder. Dude, this is, they thought of everything in this box. Maybe I was wrong to not be excited. Okay, okay. So this last piece of plastic, not that one. Uh, that one's covering the energies. But I got. I'm gonna let me get the play mat out. Okay, we got the play mat out. We'll unroll that in a minute. This is just a full-on review at this point. Okay, we got another piece of plastic. Okay, we're up to four pieces of plastic. Oh, the energies are just loose. Oh, I don't like that. Let's get this deck box out. That's a nice little deck box. This is usually like the one. Um, 
like the the, the celebrations special ETB the crown zenith one this feels like that it's like cardboard it's not not super nice that's so far the only not nice thing we got I'll take out these packs all 18 of them we'll go through those in a minute Gee, dude dude we got half a booster box in here this is crazy this is there's just so much stuff okay can I take this whole piece out yes I can so here are the energies and as you can see they're like crystal foil but they're not like sleeved or anything but they do seem to be semi protected we're gonna find out in a second this piece of plastic is very heavy so they are protected I guess it makes it a good base all the backs look pretty good these are substantial these are definitely heavier than regular energies but look at that these are amazing oh my god you know, I reckon for TCG players, this might these might be more expensive than the promo. Oh, these two look freaking awesome. Oh my god, that's so far my favorite thing. I don't I don't usually sleeve energies, but I feel like I'm gonna have to sleeve energies today. That is crazy. And that is the ins ooh, the inside of the box has the design too. This is a sick, sick box. I'm keeping the box. I I didn't want to. Now I am. Sick box. Okay. So let's do the play mat. And then we'll finally get to open packs. Seven minutes into the video, we haven't opened packs yet. All right, let's do this. Oh, Lord Almighty. Does it even have its face on here? No. This is insane looking. I'll post a picture in the community tab, just on my page. This thing is crazy looking. Trapagos is like, it's just like the stellar of its back. Okay, it's... There he kind of is, but if you've played the game, you know, you just kind of know what it's like, it's supposed to look like. All right, let's look at these packs. I'm going to organize them by set. So we got Stellar Crown, Stellar Crown, Twilight, Twilight, Temporal Forces, Paradox Rift, Paradox Rift, Obsidian Flames, dude, what? Obsidian, Stellar, Stellar, Twilight. Twilight, Temporal, Paradox, Paradox, Obsidian Flames. Okay, so we got two Temporal Forces. Let's tone down a little bit. We got two Temporal Forces, but we get four Obsidian Flames. This is the set they are just dumping. They just don't want these anymore. This is this is the new set that's in like every product. Paradox Rift, I feel like is not far behind, but I think Paradox Rift has some sick arts. Especially of these two, sick arts. Twilight Masquerade is a great set. I think it's one of the, not more higher value, but the more fun to open. Stellar Crown is incredible. I know some of these, like the newer Pokemon, aren't like the most exciting to some people, but okay, this pack is also very heavy. This might be the last pack we open, like overall. So this one too. Actually, the three promo packs, yes. Um, and then Temporal Forces has the new legendaries, like the, the sub-legendaries. Why only two packs of this? Why four and four, but only two? Because I know this set was more popular than both of them. I don't know. These are some of the also last packs we're going to open. But we're definitely getting through um, my least favorite sets first. So 18 packs, dude, is crazy. That is flat out crazy. And we got our three packs in the back to open last. Shout out Charmander for guarding them. And the, let's just get one fan image of the these energies. Because this is in... Incredible. Oh, I wish there was a dragon energy of this so bad. Oh. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous fan. We will sleeve these later. Same thing with these. I don't want to take these out in the video just because they're already in sleeve, so I'm not worried about them during the opening. And I'll just take more time. But these, this, so far this box is great. I don't know what the value is going to be on it. But so far everything is, is hidden. All right, let's get, I'm gonna move this down just cause I think it's very funny. That way we are now with the Pokemon sponsorship in the back. Three packs, here we go. We're gonna start off with a Stellar Crown because this is what the, the like promotion is for it. So this premium collection retailed for 120. I think it's gonna crash in a week. I don't think it'll be an expensive box. I'm pretty sure it'll be like $80. 
Um, you get half of booster boxes worth of packs, and you get all the other stuff. So this could be, this could be worth. Meryl, Tokodomaru, Baluza, Tornadus, Fido, Electabuzz, Dauschbund EX. Dude, crazy start. Crazy, crazy start. We are starting off with a hit. How am I going to keep all these organized? All right, Obsidian Flames. I'm going to pan out a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't make it too heavy and fall over like it did. I've recorded an opening of something like a couple months ago. <laughs> the whole rig just fell. Like completely. And I was like, oh, well, I lost the whole video. We got Rowlet. Baldoy. Finizin. Bertic. Charmeleon. Exquadrill. Togedemaru. Dude. Dude. Dude, we got a hit. And I think I... Okay, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But we're going to open the energy first. And then this... The hollow, which is an Entei. Oh, I know exactly what card this is. Ready? Ice Q. So funny. Ice Q with the hat. This thing is so funny looking. Oh my god, that's so funny. Hey, two packs, two hits. If we go 18 for 18, I, I may faint. Um, I pre-ordered this on the Pokemon Center website, but it will be at Target, Best Buy, uh, probably Walmart. I don't have a Walmart by me, so I don't shop there. Um, for, like, retail. I'm sure if you go to Target's next week, it'll probably, like, have it in store. This is the, the release day. This is the 22nd of November. Dragon there. That's pretty. Grievard. Steeny. No hit. Wow. Here we go. More obsidian flames. This set is definitely tanking in price, but it's got four Charizards in it. Maybe more. So it'll always like have some popularity, especially to like young kids. This will be a great Christmas gift, like stocking stuffer packs for the youngins. Snubble. Rowlet again. Toxicity. If you play Pokemon Go, Toxicity comes out soon. Tomorrow, I think. Pretty hyped for that. Pretty hyped for that. Womp. We got a Jargadet. Bonnier. Sinistee. That's a... CJ. That's a very weird looking artist. Maybe it's Claymation. Tadbulb. Malamar. Grumpig. Claude Sire, Birdig, Mawile, Gita. So thus ends Obsidian Flames. Can't say I'm too upset. Now we got Paradox Rift. We're opening up Roaring Moon. That is the big hitter of the set. There's also this really sick Groudon special art that I love, but the price just keeps climbing. Keeps, keeps climbing. We've all been there. Onyx. Dink dink, chart cadet, toad school, slitherwing. I love these ancients. Technical machine devolution. Ooh, Yovaltal as is that a star? Is that the rare? Okay, it's a reverse. Okay, I was about to say is it uncommon? Is crazy. Bite, Altaria ex. Okay, you know I was about to say I jinxed us when I said hit every pack. We haven't gotten a hit since. Now if you don't get a lot of hits in these packs. Your values through the floor, but I'm sure someone's gonna post on Twitter them pulling like something crazy out of these, and everyone's gonna be like, Oh, I gotta buy it. Simi Sage, Norman, Orthworm, Gimigool, Ooh, Simi Seer, Iron Julius Future, Psychic Energy. I'm keeping the energies in this stack just so I can uh, reorganize them later and put them all into their, their rightful spots. I mean, you guys get it. I don't like lumping up all my bulk. I like to lump it by set, so that way when I like sell it or repack it for somebody, I get to put it all like where it's supposed to go. Screamtail, devolution again. Wimpod, Iron Juglas, Zacian. I love Zacian. I think Zacian was my favorite Gen 8 legendary. It's just such a good looking, just dog. I'm a sucker for the dog Pokemon. Manectric, Poochiana. Uh, even Boltund, they're just, they're just cool. But I don't like Bostiff. 
I don't know what it is. Maybe I just don't like that kind of dog. I don't know. We got Flittle, Trubbish, Gimmigoo, Wiglet, Exploud, Mella, Minio, Burloin, Tinka Tink. Ooh, Frostless EX. It's Fire Energy. Okay, so not the hits I wanted from Paradox Rift, but, you know, two EXs nonetheless, which is better than none. Okay, next we got Twilight Masquerade. The hits in this set are the Ursa Luna uh, illustration rare and the any of the big Ogre Pond full arts or uh, secret mask rares. Froki, Phantump, Slugma, Swana, Glamora, Snorlax, love Snorlax, Applin, Snowrunt, one of my favorite Pokemon is Snowrunt, don't ask me why. I just love it. It's so cute. Look at him. <gasps> Palafin full art. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, man. I love Palafin. Palafin's one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon, so that's amazing. So I'm sure, as some of you know, I've been collecting every Gen 8, like, Sword and Shield era full art card. I'm only, like, 20 to 30 away. I'm really close. Obviously, Christmas season is current, so I'm not, like, buying myself a lot of cards right now. But I'm starting to get attached to the Gen 9 Scarlet and Violet era packs. No one told me I was tilted. What the heck, guys? Come on. Um, and I'm trying to convince myself not to buy all of them. But, like, when I see them like that, I'm a sucker for these cards that have super hard borders on the picture. Like, you see how I have super outlined? I love that. I think it's awesome. I think it makes the card pop. So I keep, when I pull a full art like that, it's really hard for me to be like, ooh, don't do it, because now I just want to do it. Dip. Diplin, dip. Okay. Darmanadan. Infernape. I've never seen this card. This card is pretty cool. I love Infernape. I just got a Hundo Infernape in Pokemon Go. If you don't know what that means, I'm sorry, but it's really cool. Wop, wop. All right. Trevenant. Emolga. I hate Emolga. It's one of my least favorites. Frogadier. Illumise. Jamming Tower. Looks like the one by my house. Glaceon. Sandslash. Volbeat. Fiony. Fion, Fiony. I don't know. Dragapult EX. Dude. Let's go. You know, the worth of my hits is probably really low, but, dude, I love it. Just pulling a hit is so, like, the dopamine hit is just crazy. It's just like, oh, amazing. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get another one. Let's get another one. Vroom. Volbeat. Luxio. Goldeen. Conkilder. Diplin. Is that a different Diplin? There's three Diplin, or two Diplin cards in this set. Community Center. Venabede, Reverse Walking Wake, Fezandibity Hollow. Okay, okay. You know what gets me? They never put the special these sets in these, like the Shrouded Fables, the 151s. I think that'd be like a cheat code to selling. If you put 151 in this this uh, premium collection, I think you sell 100,000 in an hour. Like I think you go out of your allocation immediately. People are addicted to those sets. Okay, we got a see dot Totodile. I love this Totodile card. Sorry, I forgot to mention. We are now opening Temporal Forces. My my second second or third favorite set of this uh, of this era, maybe. I love it. 151 is obviously my favorite because I'm a Gen 1er, I'm a dirty Gen 1er, I'm sorry. But something about this set is just like fun. Like the special arts are cool, the illustration rares are cool. Even some of like the basic arts, like this Zara Aura, sick. Why is he an uncommon? I don't know, it's disrespectful. This Sharpedo is beautiful. Metagross. Mingino. Melden. For alligator. I see, you compliment a Totodile, you're gonna get a for alligator. I don't make the rules, it's just how it goes. Alright, last temporal forces. Can we get the Raging Bolt EX, the uh, the specialty rare? Probably not. Oh, Dartwig, love Dartwig. See, dog Pokemon, I'm happy, Pugiana. Wiglet, Meltan, 
Rumska. Iron Juglis, just regular uncommon. Full Metal Alchemist. Lab. Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking. That's a lot of letters. Lick a Tongue, no illustration rares. Didun Sparse, and a very funny looking hollow. So nothing out of Temporal Forces, that's okay. Dude, you're, in, you're opening this, you have a lot of bulk. Okay, so the final three packs, the Stellar Crown packs for the, matching the three promos. I think this is sick. Hold on. Like, this is just cool. Wham. Like, this is just cool looking. A little out of order, but it's still cool. So we're going to start with the Cinderachi pack because that's the one I picked up first. Tarapagos will be last because it's, it's, it's their box, you know? You ready for this? Bam! Oh, good start. That's a pretty Eevee. Oh, Riolu. I got two of my girlfriend's favorite Pokemon back-to-back. -back. One of my favorite, Duralodon. Joltik. Oh, dude, this Jirachi is so pretty. I pulled it for the first time the other day, and I love it. We got Lapras. Koraidon as an uncommon is disrespectful. We got Grubbin. Yo! Yo! See, th this is what the regular energy that looks like. We got a Meditite Illustration Rare. Let's go. I love that. Look at him. Not meditating at all. Just peeping at the birds. All right, two packs left. Let's see what else we can get. We got the Lapras pack. I think something sort of... Or Scarlet and Violet Terra has done really well as I talk while I muffle tinfoil. The pack arts are really good. And he, he, some of the sets in uh, Sword and Shield weren't that great, like Fusion Strikes packs, I thought were very lackluster appealing, but these ones are amazing. Finneon, another apple. Toad Scroll giving us a right hook. Gravity Gemstone. Vaulton Veluza. We got Al Creamy. We got another Meltan. Meltan Reverse, we love that today. And Ledian Hollow. Okay, okay, okay. Don't forget this pack from earlier. That's just for my sake. Okay, the final pack of the box. The mascot, Terrapagos. If we pull the Terrapagos Stellar Foil, I will simply go on TCG Player and buy 100 packs of Stellar Crown. I promise. I'll show you guys the checkout when I check out. Order confirmed. Because we, if we pull that, we are completing the set. We are going balls to the wall. Fletchling. Phalanx. Cool Pokemon. Perugly. Fat Pokemon. Fido. Perfect Pokemon. Dog Pokemon. I'm telling you. Dog Pokemon. That's my weakness. Reverum. Briya. Azumarill. Lichunk. Okay, we're going to pull the final card, which is an energy. We're going to pull the hollow to the front. And then we're going to do it. We got a clean clang. Okay, so no big hollow hit. Do we get an illustration rare or do we end on a regular reverse? I'm not looking. Oh, papaya berry. Very lackluster finish. Very lackluster. But can you really complain about the opening? I mean, we got a ton of cool stuff. We got a new play mat. We got a new, what, sponsored by Pokemon. Um, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits from the backs. Some of them are just EXs, but we get the Meditite illustration, Dragapult. They've got a full art palafin. I don't think you guys understand how bad this is for me that I got another full art because I'm just going to keep getting them. We got a Frostlass. We got Altaria. We got Ice Q illustration rare, which is so funny looking to me. I, I don't know why, but I think it's hilarious. We got Dog Pokemon. Can't, can't explain it. We got these energies, which I think I've gassed up enough tonight because these are just amazing. And we got these three... Just beautiful promo cards. Oh, just amazing. This 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 was a great opening. I don't know what else I can say about it. This was so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I know it's a little bit of a long one, but it had a lot of stuff, and it took me a while to open it. Uh, so if, I hope to talk to you guys soon, and hopefully a new product drops that is fun for me to open, and I'll open it here. I will talk to you all later. Peace.